So you want to build out a podcast. Now, if you're just building a podcast setup for one person, it's really quite easy. You just need a USB mic and your computer and you're off to the races. But what if you want to put together a setup that's specifically built to be mobile, but also for two hosts? Well, today I want to walk you through some very budget friendly items you can pick up to put this entire setup together and it's not going to break the bank. Now, let's be clear about this. If you want a full podcast setup, you are going to have to spend some money like this is not going to be a free setup. This is not going to be like a sub 100 or even $200 setup. This one is going to get you up and running, but do it in such a way that you might not have to upgrade possibly ever. And if you do, it's going to be for the luxury of the upgrade and not so much because the equipment that you started with just wasn't good enough. Like this is a setup you could build for two people to use and it's going to be great for the foreseeable future. The nice thing is when you plug it into your laptop, there's going to be one cable that gets plugged in and that is it. So let's start off with the audio interface that we're going to roll with. Now for the audio interface, we're using the Mayano caster. This is an AME2. If you're looking for on somewhere like Amazon, though, all things will be linked down below. But I like a few different things about this particular product. First off, you have independent mic control for both microphones to make sure they are equally balanced and not one is way louder than the other. You also have a sound pad so you can record into it all kinds of sounds that you could use just on the fly with your podcast that you don't have to necessarily edit in later. You have plenty of effects, all that sort of thing. But what I really like about it is it has a built-in battery. It charges via USB-C and yeah, it has a battery that's gonna last plenty of time for any podcast to record an episode or probably more likely several episodes. And then if you just charge it between podcasts, it's always gonna be ready to go. It has two microphone inputs, though only one of them is XLR, so that other microphone is gonna have to just use a three and a half millimeter jack. You can get yourself an XLR to three and a half millimeter cable. It's not ideal, but for the price, this typically is usually around 120, though sometimes does go on sale for a little bit under $100. For the price, it's hard to beat for what it does and what it is. So I have now switched over to the Mayano caster for the uh, recording of the rest of the video here. And next up, we have a need for mic arms. And these are provided by Fifine. In fact, everything from here on out was sent over by the companies involved just for general review. But keep in mind, all opinions here are my own. And to be honest, they wouldn't be showing up in the video if they were things that I absolutely despised. So with that in mind, the mic arms that Fifine sent over are quite nice. These are the BM88s and yes there are some cheaper low profile mic arms but what I like about Five Finds well there's a few things. First off it has a ball head on it so it makes positioning the microphone a little bit easier because you can put basically the mic in whatever you know orientation you need it to be. But the other thing it has going for is it has fantastic cable management. It's got these little panels underneath the arm parts of the mic arm and they just slide off. You put your cables under there and then they slide back on and they are secure, which is a little bit different than even some more premium low profile options that use magnets that sometimes the panel can kind of pop up or pop off. So these mic arms are really, really solid. Now for headphones, Fifine also sent these out. These are the H8s and they're only about 35 ish dollars, give or take on Amazon, at least as of the time of recording. Of course, check links for current pricing. But these things have a few things going for them as well. First of all, for this price, you normally don't get to see a detachable cable on board. And not only is it a detachable cable, it's a nice one. It's got kind of that coil thing going on where it can sort of get a little bit longer uh, than otherwise would be. But it comes with two cables. There's the three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter that I'm currently using. Then there's also a three and a half millimeter to quarter inch cable. They're just separate cables, both of which are included. But these H8s, what I really dig about them they're actually comfortable. Like they feel pretty good. The build quality is solid. It's obviously not the most premium that you're ever gonna see, 
but they're actually comfortable to wear. Like I don't get ear fatigue. My ears aren't pressing up against the inside of the ear cups. These things are a good value. And finally, that brings us to the microphone uh, that I'm going to be using for this. Now, I am currently recording on the Fifine AM8. And I think for most people, that's going to end up being a really good budget-friendly option, especially if you're sort of trying to piece this together over time. You can start with the Fifine AM8, and it can grow with you because it's a very solid USB mic, and it's also an XLR mic that does a good job with that. However, there are other cheaper XLR options out there that also could be worth considering. So Fifine did send out a pair of AM8s, and they also are competing against another microphone that's a bit more of a newcomer. And I'm going to uh, plug that one in in just a second. But this is the Mayano PD100X. And it, like the AM8, is USB. It has some RGB elements. In fact, it has some pretty cool RGB elements. And it's also XLR. So let's give this one a test. So now we're switched over to the Mayano PD100X. And at first blush, it probably doesn't have a whole lot different to it than does the AM8 as far as sound quality goes. They're probably quite similar. They're at a similar price point. I will say the Mayano has more sibilance going on. The, the S's are a little bit harsher, at least uh, just listening to it here. But it does have a trick up its sleeve. And that is that when you plug a battery bank into an AM8, the RGB element will light up briefly, and then it eventually goes out. I don't know uh, if it's some sort of like firmware thing with the AM8 that it just like doesn't detect a PC, so it kicks it back off. Uh, the difference is, though, you can plug the uh, PD100X into a battery bank, and it'll just stay on, and the RGB will just go and go and go. So we're going to do that now. Now, why am I bringing up RGB with a two-person podcast setup? The big thing is because a lot of podcasts ends up being in video format on YouTube. If you plan to make your podcast eventually a video podcast, this may or may not be an attractive option to you. I did want to point out that it is available. Now, the drawback of the 100X, and it's the reason that ultimately for me, I would say the AM8 is probably a little bit better, even if it is a few dollars more expensive, at least it does tend to be. The PD100X is virtually unusable as a USB mic. And that's because it has crazy distortion when you're using it in USB, specifically if you are someone that likes to get up on the microphone and use that proximity effect, which I don't know that you really need to do a ton, but it's nice to have in the tool bag. Or you might just be a host that is more comfortable with a mic right up to your face. If that's you, this mic in USB mode is not the option for you. This is a quick USB audio test of the PD100X at about a four inch range. But if I get in really close, and this is it not even peaking, this is the distortion you get to hear from the PD100X. The AM8, while not perfect, is a much better option if you're starting or ever plan to use it as a USB mic. If, on the other hand, you only ever plan to use it in this two-person podcast setup with XLR, then you have absolutely nothing to worry about. And now, just for fun, I plugged the AM8 back into the Mayano caster, though this time it's plugged in using the XLR to three and a half millimeter cable, just so you can kind of see and hear what that uh, what that sounds like. Now, please forgive all the mic sounds because obviously I'm holding it and it's hitting all kinds of cables and that sort of thing. But I just wanted to point out that the XLR to three and a half millimeter cable works just fine. 
So that is it. That is the two-person podcast setup. You have the Mayano caster. You have the BM88 low-profile mic arms. You have the H8 headphones. And then for mics, you have a ton of options on the market. A big thank you goes out to both Fifine and Mayano for providing samples of some of their products. I really like the AM8 for its versatility. I like the PD100X, especially if you're someone that really likes that RGB element. Just understand that you need to use a battery bank if you're on the move to get that because you can't use phantom power to power the uh, RGB effects of the PD100X. And then there are a ton of other mic options out there as well. Uh, Fifine has a cheaper dynamic mic. I believe that's the K uh 669d maybe regardless this is what that one sounds like there's also the original uh mayano pd100 which i really like as just a bare bones xlr dynamic microphone regardless there's a ton of other options out there i will leave several of those options in the links down below but with that i would love to hear from all of you out there what would you change up about this setup what's an audio interface that you think would work really well for a two-person podcast what microphones would be very budget friendly but also good enough that you can carry them forward for the long haul that you're not gonna have to like replace them constantly to actually get a solid quality upgrade let me know in those comments down below otherwise i'm shane from hoosier hardware and i will see you all in the next video